Hi, my name's Emma and welcome to my 10 minute preparation or warm down for winter sports. So let's go ahead and start on hands and knees, bringing your hands shoulder width apart, pressing the palms down and making sure the knees are hip width apart. So we're going to stretch that right leg back and bend the knee, lifting it like a tail. So make sure the thigh is parallel with the mat and we're working into the glutes here to warm them up. Open the chest, look towards the front of the mat to relax the neck and make sure that you're breathing easily and from the belly. Just taking a couple more flowing breaths here. You might start to feel the leg and the glute muscles working. You want to get them really warmed up. And then relax the leg down. Press the toes into the mat so that you are stretching out the calf muscle. And then lift that leg again. And relax it down into the calf stretch. We're going to do one more round before taking the other side. So lifting up like a tail. Relax the shoulders. Breathe deeply and press down with the toes. And then relax that right knee, lift the left leg up, bend the knee like a tail so your thigh is parallel with your mat. Shoulders are relaxed, chest is open and you're breathing freely through the belly. It also opens the hip flexors and counteracts lots of sitting, which tightens up our hips. Relax the left leg down, press into the toes. Keep breathing freely. And again, lifting up with your tail and dropping the leg down, stretch out your calf muscle. Lifting up. The more you relax the belly, the, the more you can open up your hip flexor muscle on the left side here. Bring it down, last calf stretch. And then we're going to lift with the hips, turn the right toes under, but just keep the toes very gently touching the ground. So all the weight is going down the left leg, pushing up with the hips and down with the head into a downward dog, stretching out the left leg. And then straighten the right leg and deeply bend the left. Come forward into a plank, so shoulders are over the wrists, drawing up through your abs, and a straight line from the shoulders to the heels, like the top of a push-up. Engaging those abdominal muscles. And then drop the knees, bend the elbows in, bring the belly to the ground, show, hands under the shoulders, Push up into a cobra, being mindful of your lower back. 
and push back up to hands and knees. So we're going to stretch out our feet, really important for winter sports. So bring the right back of the foot across the left sole. So you're pressing into the arch of the foot. Just gently place your hands on your thighs. If this is really painful, just lift the hips slightly. And take some deep breaths, relaxing the shoulders, breathing from the belly. Lifting off and swapping sides. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then release. And we're going to turn the toes under. So bringing your hands next to your chest, slightly rock back, so you're beginning to engage the core muscles, not keeping the back straight, and pause here for three breaths. and release on the exhale and just do that two more times so rolling your whole upper body back in one straight line for three breaths and release and again last time And then we're just going to sit back on the heels. This is a really good stretch for the feet, but it can be painful. So if it is, lift the hips up and work to where feels okay for your feet. Hands interlaced and reaching up over the head, relaxing the inner shoulders. Take a long exhale, bring the arms down, fingertips to the mat. You're going to put all the weight onto your thighs and come to bring the soles of the feet together. So your feet are hip width apart. We're relaxing on the thighs. Interlace your hands and reach up and out into a chair pose. Bring your arms by your ears for three breaths. Pressing down the outer edges of the feet. And then exhale, release over your legs, resting your belly on the thighs, relaxing the head, relaxing the upper body completely. Two more times. Inhale up into chair pose, arms by the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Press down with the feet. And exhale, completely release down over the legs. Coming to bring the knees to the floor. Bring the feet out and sit back either on the heels or on the mat, in between the heels, if that feels okay in your knees and your core. Just resting the hands on the thighs and closing your eyes for a moment. Just stretch out those quad muscles. Coming up, bringing the legs out in front of you. You're going to lower all the way down to the ground. Hands by your sides, palms in. Let's inhale up into a bridge for one whole breath. And exhale down, release. Inhale up and hold, still letting the breath flow. And exhale down. 
One more time, inhale up. Take a breath. Exhale down. Bring the soles and the feet together, knees out for a moment. Feel those hamstrings opening up. Relaxing the arms by your sides. And then stretching the legs out for Shavasana. So I really recommend that after doing your warm up or your warm down, you spend at least a couple of minutes, longer if you can, letting your muscles relax. Letting the breath send all the nutrients to all the cells in your body. Do that relaxed, deep breathing. Just scanning your body for tension, letting go wherever it is in your body that you're holding on. Allow our muscles that we work so hard some time off to restore and re energize. So spend as long as you can in relaxation. When you're ready to finish, bring your knees into your chest and roll onto your side. So thank you for joining me in this 10 minute exercise routine and I wish you all the best for your winter sports.